Welcome to Spark Joy, the podcast dedicated to celebrating the Kamari method and the transformative power of surrounding yourself with joy and letting go of all the rest. With your hosts and certified Kamari consultants, Kristen Ivey and Karen Sochi. And now, here's the show. Welcome to Spark Joy Podcast Kamari Quick Tips episode. Every few weeks, we dedicate an episode to presenting quick tips around a particular topic or area of interest requested by our listeners. This week's quick tip episode is dedicated to spring tidying. Now, this is a little different than your actual KonMari tidying event, which is that one-time event during which you sort and organize your entire home one category at a time. This is all about an annual review of your home to address those minor repairs and little improvements that can be made to keep your home and belongings in joyful condition. We absolutely believe that there is a benefit to an annual joy check, and the spring is a great time to review and reset. So let's get started with some tips. First step, take a tour of your home's interior and exterior condition, subcategory by subcategory, I like the idea of starting from the inside out. So inspecting the walls for paint touch up, especially the woodwork and the doors and getting rid of those dings, wiping down fingerprints or splatters, review the floors and carpets for cleaning or any repairs that are required and check to see if the tiles need repair or regrouting. Then you can review your plumbing and electrical systems. Maybe you need some new light bulbs, or could you change to higher efficiency bulbs altogether? Next, consider all the things in your home that have a filter, such as your heating and cooling systems or your humidifier or dehumidifier. The spring is a great time to replace them. Then take a look at that furniture and anything that is included in decor, like drapes and curtains. Does anything need cleaning or repairing? Have you decided that something you once loved no longer sparks joy? Remember your tastes. They will change over time and things will also wear out. So inspect your kitchen cabinets and overall home storage. Could your shelves benefit from some new shelf liners? Do they need a good wipe down or vacuuming? Next up is the exterior of your home. The winter can expose needed exterior repairs, and you will want to make sure that your home is protected for the springtime storms. Have the gutters cleaned out, paint touched up, and windows and doors properly sealed. Finally, consider the springtime activities associated with your landscaping, which includes making sure that your lawnmower and garden tools are clean and in good repair. Now, all this can seem like a huge effort, so I like to do a walkthrough inspection first, making a note of everything that needs action. Be aware that spring tidying often reveals some unfinished projects or business that has remained untouched across the seasons. So if this is the case, create a project plan and ask yourself, do you need to purchase supplies? And if so, of course, make a list. Or maybe do you need to delegate a task? Maybe enlist a family member or friend or hire the right professional. Does the activity itself spark joy to begin with? Always reevaluate and ask yourself, is it time to let go if it no longer sparks joy? Or does this align with my vision or my values? Give yourself a reasonable timeline and address each item in turn. A well-maintained home will bring amazing joy to you and your family. Our next tip is to take a look at your fall and winter specific items. As in all things related to KonMari, we suggest you go by categories, but first let's revisit your vision. What are your hopes and aspirations for the upcoming spring and summer? What activities do you see yourself participating in and enjoying? What are your goals for living your best life this spring and summer? Now it's time to tidy by categories. For example, if you're looking at your clothing, do you have heavy winter clothes, including coats, sweaters, boots, or ski wear? Did they bring you joy this winter? Is there future use for these items? Do you see yourself wearing them again when fall comes? Do they need to be repaired or cleaned? So let's talk about storage. 
We both believe that all your clothes should be kept together regardless of the season, but for many of us, this just is not practical. It's fine to pack away your seasonal items if necessary, as long as you can say for sure that they still spark joy. When you get your summer wear out, make certain that all those things are clean and ready to be used. Do you have outdoor sports items that are just for winter? This would be great and fall under the seasonal kimono category for review. This is the time to inspect, clean, and repair and store them. Conversely, do you have lawn furniture or summer sporting goods to bring out of hiding? Now's the time. A quick tip, use that outdoor space that you may have, a porch, a backyard, a front yard, to perform some of your quick Kamari joy checking. So if there's something that has been covered in dust or hasn't seen a lot of light, bring it outside and get some sunlight while you're tidying up. And along those very same lines, once you have reviewed your home and have joy checked your seasonal belongings, we believe that it's a great idea to bring cleansing fresh air inside. Marie Kondo talks about opening the windows and letting in the fresh air every day. This can be really great during the spring mornings as a way to greet the day. Also, spring is a great time to bring fresh flowers inside. So treat yourself and think about a capstone event to celebrate all this spring tidying. Maybe a barbecue or a game night or a yard sale. Have something to work towards so that you can create a sense of urgency and efficiency around your tidying. This wraps up our quick tips for spring tidying. We are overjoyed to announce that we have surpassed 1 million downloads of the Spark Joy podcast. We are so grateful for the support from all of our listeners. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the hundreds of hours that you have put into listening to our show. And we also want to thank the listeners who have joined the Spark Joy Club at the Joy Sparker level. New members include Tanya Rutini, Kristen Monroe, Lindsay Hardgree, and Brooke Curran. Welcome. We are excited that the Spark Joy Club has taken off in such a big way, and we are very much looking forward to growing the Spark Joy Club community, where we will discuss how to live a life that sparks joy. Please join us. So now we want to hear from you. Tell us your burning, tidying questions or share stories about how Kanmari has impacted your life. Head over to Apple Podcasts to subscribe and review the show, which helps us reach others along their tidying journeys. To extend your tidying experience, you can join the Spark Joy Club. Visit sparkjoypodcast.com and click join the club to become a member of the Spark Joy community or join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for tuning in. And we hope your day sparks joy. Thank you for listening to Spark Joy with your hosts, Kristen Ivey of For the Love of Tidy in Chicago and Karen Sochi of The Serene Home in New York City. Spark Joy, the podcast, is not endorsed by or affiliated with Kamari Media, Inc. The opinions expressed on this episode represent the views of the co-hosts and guests alone and do not represent the corporate position of Kamari Media, Inc. or the Kamari Consultant Community.